This is the waiting room of the famous Beverly Hills psychiatrist, Dr. Sigmund Hope. Here are gathered the neurotics of the movie and television industry. Each in his own way has paid a terrible price for success. This is Joseph Calvelli, the famous director. He just finished a week on the Oscar Levant show. <laughs> This handsome woman waited for 60 years, then finally got her first part in pictures. The next day, the actors went on strike. <laughs> this is James Garner. This quiet, intelligent man stars in one of the most popular westerns in history. You must try and control yourself, Mr. Garner. Well, he started it. Well, please, lady, I've got to see the doctor. You'll have to wait. Dr. Hope is with the patient right now, and he hates to be disturbed when he's working. Oh, it was awful, Doctor. This dream was so frightening. There I was being chased by these six-foot jelly beans. Good for you, my dear. And then what happened? I realized, of course, that the lemon jelly bean was my husband. The jelly his stomach, and boy, is he yellow. Good for you, my dear. And then what happened? Well, when I woke up in the morning, I felt much better. <laughs> However, when I went grocery shopping, I found that I was still unable to make decisions. I'm sorry, my dear, but your time is up. That'll be $28. Uh, last time it was $25. I know. Today I lost three balls. Uh, <laughs> This mattress owes a lot of income tax. Doctor, it's an emergency. I'm Mr. James Garner. Oh, well, show him in. He may be dangerous. Show him out. <laughs> Howdy. Are you the vet? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm the psychiatrist, or as you layman put it, I'm a head shrinker. Looks like you've been practicing on yourself. <laughs> This case may call for a few shots with a rusty needle. <laughs> Why don't we just sit down and have a little chat? Sure, Doc. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to say whoa. That chair is always frisky during the mating season. <laughs> now, uh, your name is Jim Garner? Yep. What's your occupation? You mean you ain't never seen my show on television? I'm sorry. What do you do on Sunday night? Well, I just sit home and read a good book. What are you, a commie or something? <laughs> My good man, television is geared to the lowest common denominator. It's for idiots, for imbeciles, for morons. Well, what about Leonard Bernstein, the New York Philharmonic? I missed it. They were on opposite the Three Stooges. <laughs> We seem to be avoiding your problem. Now, what's troubling you, my man? Well, that's it, Doc. I ain't a man. I'm a horse. <laughs> you mean you imagine you're a horse? Well, yeah, yeah. I imagine I'm a horse. Care for a little sugar? <laughs> when did you first notice these equestrian tendencies? Well, it was last Tuesday. Tuesday. And what led you to the ridiculous and fantastic notion that you were a horse? I won the second race at Santa Anita. <laughs> this poor kid has flipped his feed bag. Sure glad you weren't in the race, Doc. You'd have nosed me out. <laughs> Now, you see, this whole thing is in your mind. You're suffering from what is known as sea biscuit syndrome. You are not a horse. You only think you're a horse. I'd hate to have the stall downstairs. Now, let's start at the beginning. 
Well, it was about a year ago, Doc. I, I went to visit this voluptuous blonde girl named Mary Cochran. No names, please. Just the telephone number. <laughs> Crestview 50799. If a horse answers, it's me. <laughs> Sorry, Doc, that crabgrass is killing me. I've met a few kooks, but you've really got it. I'm afraid this is going to take a long time. <laughs> well, there is no time, Doc. My filly, I mean my girl, is sore at me. Last week she caught me horsing around. <laughs> With a horse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I want to tell you one thing. You've got to be more discreet. Hi-ho, Silver. <laughs> This is a desperate case calling for desperate measures. We'll try hypno out and analysis. What's that? I'm not sure. My Reader's Digest is late. <laughs> now lie back. You're going to sleep, Jim. You're going to sleep. Night hall. <laughs> Concentrate, concentrate. <coughs> what do you see? A Timex? Not this year. <laughs> sleep, 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 sleep. My feet. Where are my green stamps? <laughs> Jim, we're going to re-educate your subconscious by the power of suggestion. Repeat after me. I like girls. I like girls. I love girls. I love girls. Sounds like a slow leak at Sinatra's house. <laughs> I believe he's ready for the test. Oh, nurse! Ready? <laughs> now, what is this, Jim? That is a horse. Very good, Jim. Now, what is this, Jim? Try, Jim, try. <laughs> what is this? Well, I'm, I'm not sure, but it sure has a pretty mane. <laughs> no, no, you're not concentrating. I'll do it once more for you. See, this is a horse. It has four legs, a head, and a tail. And this, this is a girl. She has two legs, a head, and we may have to finish this inventory on the Jack Parr show. <laughs> I'm going to bring you out of this trance. When you awaken, you will walk toward the girl. You will walk at the count of three. One, two, three. Ah, oh, sweetheart. <laughs> now, Jim, Jim, look, if you choose a horse, you'll be making the biggest mistake of your life. Uh, yeah? Well, next time you're on opposite of Western, you check your rating. Come, Zsa Zsa. We're going to honeymoon at the Bank of America. Well, at least he won't be buying a compact car. Doctor, I'm so sorry. It's your first failure. Well, no day is a total loss. 